I'm gonna be handcuffed to the world's most dangerous man for 24 hours. Ready for this? Yes. We'll start off easy, follow me. We're gonna find out just how much of a man Justin really is. Every time Justin fails to complete a challenge to Mr. Mark's standard, he's gonna get tased. If Justin's performance is good enough for Mr. Marks, he's gonna get an official man card from the world's most dangerous man. If Mr. Marks is a 10, then I would rate myself a six. I don't know, I'd probably rate him about a three. Oh, shoot, is that a B? <laughs> All right, first man test. Can you handle an adrenaline dump? Yeah, it's not that scary. Next phase. This dog's pretty nice. I bite your face off. It gets better. We brought in my dog, Super Scout. She will, she'll definitely increase your adrenaline. I want to see if you can write legibly, Scout. <laughs> Nervous for Justin. <laughs> Keep the hold so she doesn't get his face. Write your name. Oh. Good. Good take. I am the man. Okay. Good. Good. Scout. Out. Out. Leave it. Out. Leave it. Leave it. Good. My heart's going pretty fast. Uh, yeah, mine's normal. Okay. Yeah, mine's normal too, probably. You can check. Oh uh, no, it's moving. Actually, not bad. We're not gonna have you get tased on this one. You actually passed. Thank you. All right, this is our training center. What we like to do is you know, get me a cup of coffee. Well, the reality is every man needs to be able to defend himself and others. So uh, that's why I have a 15-time national world champion who's on my security detail to help us Kind of measure where you're at with that. You can count on me. Don't don't ever do that again. <laughs> I never punched anybody before. <laughs> yeah, I can clearly tell. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ow. Ow. All right, so here's the deal. You're gonna take a few hits, but you must defend me. Don't let them get to me. Don't make me spill my coffee. Alright. Hold this. Oh. You should protect me. Yes, sir. Throat chop, side of the hand. Point your elbow. And then release it. Pull it back in faster than it goes out. Good. Back fist, make a you're gonna extend it out, hit right to the head and back. Good. Palm heel, right to the face. Good. Insert your thumb right into the eye socket. Good. I just want to say you would do it <laughs> when needed. The secret move. I'm ready to wreck you. You want some of this? Yeah. I'm scared. I'm scared you. Of ain't you ain't getting him. I'm scared of you. Oh. That's right. Secret weapon. That gear ain't doing nothing for you, pal. <laughs> Mr. Marks, you're safe. What do you usually get? A good strong coffee. Do you ever get lattes or are you more a black coffee guy? Black coffee. What's a latte? I'll take a burrito, please. Just black coffee. Oh, the savory pumpkin latte. I will do the caramel sweet cream cold brew. You won't be spilling your coffee this time. Is it still working? Yeah. Oh. Ah, every time it gets me. I actually smacked him the bottom out one time. How'd you do that? Across the river with the actual coyote. I've snuck into Walmart before and slept <laughs> overnight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I'm gonna be uh, ambidextrous after this. Did you get any food? Some coffees. What kind of coffee? Caramel sweet cream cold brew. Savory pumpkin latte. This is gonna be so good. Oat milk. Savory pumpkin latte. Thanks. What is that? Caramel sweet cream cold brew. I don't even know what that is. Ah! <laughs> Good thing I didn't order that. <laughs> Dangerous gentlemen have to have uh, integrity. So we're actually going to do a polygraph. Legitimate polygraph. I brought a guy in and he's a real deal. Let's do it. Let's see what you got. I need you to sign this. 
this is releasing me of liability and if you have any loss of bodily functions or if you die. During loss of bodily functions? Yeah. Why would that be a thing? No reason. That's the other there. way we get information. You may feel a little bit uncomfortable. That's normal. You feel pain during this process looking out. I'd like to consider myself a pretty honest, actually a very honest man. So. That's what they all say. Uh, now I can like move around, right? Well, we're actually taking the charts now. Right now, yes. Let's uh, get comfortable here. We will be able to tell if you're telling the truth or lying. First question, do you actually enjoy drinking Shirley Temples? No. Do you actually enjoy being handcuffed to me? Yes. Do you actually think I smell? No. Have you ever thought about what it'd be like to punch me in the face? No. Have you ever thought about me punching you in the face? No. Have you ever thought about going with me and the team on a high-risk mission somewhere around the world? Yes. On a gunfire, do you think you would pee yourself? Yes. We'll get you the pins if you go with this. Last question. Do you think you're a real dangerous gentleman? Yes. Good. Do you like being handcuffed to Victor? You got a plus eight. So apparently you really like getting handcuffed yeah. to Victor. <laughs> That's a little too much like. <laughs> It's a bit good for content. <laughs> Although he said I lied on getting punched in the face, it began to dawn on me that simply getting punched by him would send me directly back to preschool. And I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemies. So Justin, this is actually my own signature blade and it is a, it is a custom made for three finger grip, control with the pinky on the back, thumb on the top. When you draw this and this is a weapon, you're gonna cut through, turn, cut down, turn, cut straight across. And it's left-handed, so if you can do this left-handed, Actually, I'll be impressed. Well, all right, I'll give it a try. And remember, the pointy sharp end doesn't touch you and never touches me. Okay, I'll make sure you're back over there. Wow. So, uh, so you can see how you slice right through it, depth through a light cut. That's letting the blade do the work. Those are good cuts. This is the target coming at us. Great. Yeah, don't get in the way of Mr. Marks, uh, because you're bound to get a limb chopped off. This blade can hurt feelings. At this point, I've been handcuffed for 12 hours. And so far, this has been stressful and terrifying. And apparently, this is only going to get worse, unless I can manage to impress Mr. Marks. I have no idea how I'm going to sleep tonight. There you go. I'll start here. Justin, the next objective is to be able to operate quietly with silence to hit targets with an actual blow dart gun. Well, this is going to be a first for me. I've only seen this stuff in movies, so. Well, you get three chances. Oh, here we go again. The good news is I'm going to let you use military grade night vision. Heck yeah. The bad news is if you miss. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'll give this to you first. Okay. Here's your first door. It's effective. I think it's locked in. Well, you gotta do a lot of work 
when you can't see. Now, you see how it's totally black in there? Yeah. You cut this on, you're gonna be able to see very clearly. You're gonna have to hold this with one hand. You're going to have to move and take your first shot from the cover of this vehicle at the door. Can you imagine if we were on a mission together in the middle of the jungle, handcuffed, we each had blow darts? No. I can literally see everything in this entire room. Well, that was a miss. Sound like you had distance, but you missed target. All right, you get one more level chance. <laughs> well, let's say you just got the wall, not the target. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Holy crap! Does that motivate them for training? Yes! So aim kind of dead. Center. Well, you got to, yeah, it's probably dead center. And put this hand further out to, to steady it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh man. So close, yet so far. Man down. Yes. That. Zombie down. <laughs> Here's the deal. <clears throat> Keep your weapon down. You're gonna walk up, turn and shoot from right here, and then just shoot and then walk out that way. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Anything? Perfect time for a run. Nobody's out. Air is crisp. Yeah. Is this good for us? Well, anytime you're running at 4 a.m., it's good. So, Justin? Yes, sir. Uh, you did well. Outstanding! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what I want to do is actually award you with my signature blade that you used to cut something with. It is to me that you've passed the first phase of being a man of what I would call a dangerous gentleman for you. Well, thank you. I'll take good care of this. Hopefully not ever have to use it, but I will carry it just in case. All right, well, good job. We'll see you for phase two. Phase two.